Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 10 of Forbidden Deductions. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. The fact that it's the same color of the floor. <laughs> That's up. Oh. Well, I mean, that could be also because his past is coming back to haunt him, especially with the fact that, you know, hey the house of M and, you know, key, you know, blind kitty toe. <laughs> That's crazy that this ain't the boat. But obviously, I mean, we kind of already knew that was going to happen. They killed dude last week, so psh, tell us how capable that they are. The cat. Now, okay, here's my thing. Because of the fact is Ron is, like, literally a, what I think was said, descendant of Sherlock and Moriarty, and same thing with the people of the House of M. Now, my situation is, did, let's say, Blonde Kirito, did he get jealous of what Ron was doing and such? And I'm guessing because, I mean, when you think of Sherlock and Mor Moriarty, like, god damn, it, it's just like, they were both, like, high in, in their smartness and their knowledge and stuff, but maybe Blonde Kirito wasn't as smart as Ron, and so he secretly was jealous of him. That wouldn't surprise me. We're gonna see those guys today, because, I, I mean, it makes the most sense, duh. Unless we do like something else. Because since they've been showing everybody in the opening every single freaking week. <laughs> duh. But I, I don't know. The case of the poison latte or latte. And you are Yeah, does she know for an article? Wouldn't it have been funny if it was due from last week who got killed? Oh. 
Well, I mean, you know, he doesn't really play a god in this series, but in his other series, you know, not really, but, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. She's so Oh, that sounds good. Huh? Run. Why are you working here? Right? They're <laughs> like, what are you doing here? No, no, it's like an interview. Oh, one of these groups of girls is about to die. Oh, shit. Coffee latte sounds good. So which one has poison in it? Why well, I feel like she gonna be the one to die. Yes. Oh. Platypus. Are you trying to kill her? Not hungry.
told you. She's dead. How the hell did you get cyanide in there when she wasn't looking? You telling me because she was outside taking pictures and homegirl, one of her one of her girlfriends grabbed it after she came in. Yeah, but how could either one of them put the cu the poison in the cup without her looking when all three of them were already at the table? I, I don't think he would kill someone over that. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the only way that you could have. Yeah, but why would you want to kill your friend? Which one did she take? Right, unless there was like a cue in like the one case from Raincoat to literally be like in, uh, I, can't, I can't talk about that because of spoilers. Go play Raincoat. Thought I ain't kill her for some Instagram followers, huh? That's what it always is. Social media followers. Hmm? 
Mm -hmm. Duh. Once again, social media. <laughs> well, they all still look the same. How many followers does she have, though? Yeah. It's cute. So Yeah Ah, yep, and you're always going to choose the one in the middle. But if you're someone who's always in the middle, you will always pick the middle point. Oh, you killed her. Why? He's right. Ron, stop! Ron! Ron! I should have to bash her head in with. Oh. 
Oh, I can't look. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, seriously, cafes only have like maybe a certain amount of foods, but the fact is that he's over here like, no, I'll order for you. <laughs> okay um i didn't think this episode was going the way that i thought it was but oh okay i mean poison lattes mm -mm. make you want to watch who, who you take to go to the coffee shop with you that's like okay your girl has not been to starbucks in like a hot behind minute especially with what is going on in the world and the fact starbucks is supporting um what is going down in gaza and stuff and so to boycott it i literally have not had starbucks or mcdonald's in about two three months and I'm proud of myself. Like, seriously. I've been, yeah, I've been craving McDonald's and, you know, shit. But same thing with Starbucks. And I'm like, no. Uh-uh. But you get settled for Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Even though Dunkin' Donuts coffee ain't really that good. But, you know, you settle for it. But, yeah, you want to make sure the next time you take one of your girlfriends and it's to a coffee shop, you be like, y'all ain't going to do anything to me, right? But the fact is that she got revenge only because she took everything from her. It, it is messed up because once again, killing, you never want to take someone's life. Regardless, you never want to do that. That's one of the most messed up things because everyone needs to have a chance at life. No one. But no one should ever take someone's life never judge someone's life and such i mean there could have been another way to the situation of being a boyfriend stealer and stuff she could have talked to her about it they could have ended their friendship peacefully because sometimes like 50 out of 50 fighting over a guy um or a significant other you know it doesn't always end the greatest for the friendship sometimes yeah but I feel for her. I really do. But damn, you also feel for the victim because she was just, you know, living her life and then boom. Because of the things that she did and the decisions that she also did and because of the fact that she was a boyfriend stealer, that's the big reason why she got killed. But wasn't expecting all that to go down and it being that the reason of it. But this was a really interesting episode. It, it just, I love the fact that this was a one-off, specifically after we had, what, the three-parter last couple of weeks and stuff. And so it just makes you with, I think, what we have, like, two or three more weeks left with this show. Um, let's check that real quick. Hold on. We got three more weeks left with the show. Now, what they could do... With 11, 12, and 13, they could give us one more 
three-parter because something tells me Blonde Cutie Toe is going to come back in because that's what I originally thought this episode was going to be about but because of the fact is I, I was thinking like no looking at the opening again we're going to see somebody who's featured in this opening in the episode and then we're probably going to go back to House M M ish still I'm not mad at it but it would be nice to go back to them for the final three especially I would really desperately want this show to get a second season because the, however they're going to end this show it's gonna be a cliffhanger we all know that but I want it. I just want to get a season two. It's an underrated show. And for, you know, detective type shows, it's super good. Hella, like, underrated. But damn well good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 10 of Forbidden Deductions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Do a match your squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 11. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.